Hey guys, it's Jeff and today we are going to go over a few features that viewers on the channel want to see changes to in iOS 11.4 Beta 2. Let's take a look. This video is brought to you by My Wi-Fi TV. Cut the cable and go with a cheaper solution by heading down to the link in the description below. Okay, so first thing is first, we'll jump right in with the most requested item and that is the battery health menu be more developed. As you can see, we are still in the beta phases of this new feature, but even in beta, this menu doesn't really serve any purpose to those with new iPhones, specifically the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and 10. Even on older devices, there is still only one option in this menu, and that is to control the throttling, not anything else. In this menu, I and many other users really want to see some more data on the bottom section of this menu and maybe a bit more insight as to what we can do to help or hurt our battery health. Obviously, we would want to do anything we can to help our battery health. This menu could potentially be very helpful if Apple provided you more information on how to prolong the longevity of your battery. But at this point though, this menu is a bit underdeveloped and we'll have to wait for a more polished version, hopefully coming in later beta versions of iOS 11.4. Okay, so on to the next item, and that is the ability to delete apps from the app switcher by just swiping up. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that huge of a feature to kind of hold off until iOS 12. We really want to see this in iOS 11.4. Having to press and hold the cards and then swipe up or press the delete icon is really annoying. Having an easier method to things really the way it used to be would be a much better and more efficient way to manage your multitasking needs on iOS. Next up is the ability to manage your connections more efficiently in the control center. Right now when you disable Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, it's actually not disabled fully. To do this, you have to go into the settings app and control everything from there if you want those options to be truly disabled. The control center has always been a more efficient way to manage your settings and I think that it's not fully there right now as we cannot fully change our settings directly from the control center. Hopefully Apple can make some changes to the control center in iOS 11.4 so users can more efficiently manage their settings. Now lastly is a feature that Apple has brought back to iOS 11 and that is iMessages in the iCloud. Surprisingly in iOS 11.3 Apple took away this feature from users as it seemed to not be fully developed. It was however present in almost all of the iOS 11.3 betas. I agree with this decision to kind of hold off on the official release of this feature because it takes up way too much of your iCloud storage. This is exactly why I don't even have this feature turned on. iMessages in the iCloud needs to be better compressed so that it takes up less iCloud storage and some more optimization needs to be brought to this connection for it to be truly useful to all users. So guys, those are just a few features that really need some more development and fixes in iOS 11.4, and hopefully we'll see those in beta 2 or in other betas coming very soon in the coming weeks. These are all features that really aren't hard to change and shouldn't be left until iOS 12. If you guys have any features you want to see changes to or fixes being made, make sure to comment them in the comment section down below. So guys, thank you all for watching. Make sure to get subscribed and also hit that bell button and we'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.